Uh, mpaka zi nwetu wali tuzitonda tu huu. Tuine bintu bindi bintu watu mwurida. One, tuwa ya garabuli province, wabuli guanga, liveta wa sambi vayo abamayo. Chewandi singa national team ye guangi hiyo. Baso kolo kukola che, okuja wa sambi, umpira kwa fikufune e tutumu, nebukumu. Uh, Tusu wina tomu sangi wabamu luunji Wadenga tama jidua wawansi, aliwansi Chiba chisoka Kwa breaking us through Na jana asamba mutimu we Buja kwa etimu nga kampale wabamu gana Ze wani luoze za ndizu zina nexus e Yaba sambali mulikia wabinyu weda Na yetu inabu history Nte timu ya chigezi Ngeni mwaba sambi wani juno ligi Na university Ya kuba Uganda, e masawa kwa ukureisho. Uganda ngeju de, haba sambi haba manya. Ewe fufa drama. E timu ya winyoro. Ngeju de haba sambi wa big league. Na haba regional league. Ya kuba timu ye kampala, e masini. Timu ye kampala, ngeju de haba sambi. Boma nyu haba frames, haba manya duwa. Ewe fufa drama. Eda... Akarombo lombo hawa, tetuwa gara kamenya, kiti haba sambi, haba teina linya, baso kolo kuja ni wakoba, haba sambi, province, ejudi haba sambi, uandise, ba national players. Echi chichiko na fufa drama. Eda, tuchisiga zao, na eda tuliba gumu. Mti, wende TV ya Afgani, mwari mwari msambi wa chetu mi, chetu mi bisele vya lindo uza mbig league. Chigongo. He was one of the best players. He ran all over the world. He was a drum. He was a real league. So, drum, he was a very good player. Opportunity. He was a very good player. He was a very good player. He was a very good player. He was a platform. He was a very good player. 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 Na training na ye na samba na ye mumaji. Kumusambi yo yitasika na ngamu ya bandiki. Haina mchaiga. Olusi na asukuru mako. Thank you. It's an opportunity for all of us to be able to go back home. It's an opportunity where our identity is eventually advertised. In the previous editions we discovered so many of our stars by going to play for their regions. I didn't know that actually Milton Kalisa was coming from, from Mugiso for him to be playing for Mugiso. And even the fans of the clubs, to see that actually their players of the different clubs are also coming from their uh, areas of uh, ancestry was another for your addition to the club fan following. Because when Watenga was playing at Vipers and is also playing for Mugisu, again, there was a possibility of Vipers building its own fan base in, in Imbari. So these are the things that we think that uh, will touch the fans. What we are trying to do is that in the third edition, remember this is just the third edition, our first edition having been won by Buganda, and the second edition won by Acholi, the third edition is here, open to the 16 provinces. And we believe it's going to be competition. But what's most important or new about this year's edition is that all matches are going to be telecast live as they happen. Now, this is very important for us that the fans of these games are no longer those who come to the stadium, but even those who are following from wherever they are. And this broadcast is not going to be only the territory of Uganda, but to the world. We know that the Ugandans living in the diaspora, they also have ethnicity where they come from, and we believe that they will be proud to associate with their teams. So we expect that the third edition will be more competitive. We expect that it is a short gap format that we are going to use to ensure that we have the third edition, but definitely the fourth edition will be back to the way we are supposed to do it to ensure that the fans down in the provinces are able to follow from the first match to the last match. The Fufa drum is about celebrating our ancestry. 
We have kept the rules, we have kept the format, because we believe that this is the moment when the people where we come from are able to celebrate the athletes that are coming from those particular areas. I would like to welcome all of you to this year's uh, to this year's edition of the draws. We hope that the best team comes out as a winner. But for us, the emotions that arise out of the previous editions, we don't forget when we were in Acholi and the Shitiwacho of Uganda was being sung in Acholi. And for us, this was momentous. When we saw over 20 buses coming from Guru to Mukono, when we saw trailers and buses going down to Kabale when Lang was going to play Chikese. It is only football that can have this kind of emotions, but combined with where we come from, our ancestry, but it's also another opportunity for us to promote the tourism of this country, to promote the different tourist attractions that come from the areas that these games are going to be played. There will be build-ups to these matches. There will also be a number of engagements to ensure that we promote sports tourism in this country. Thank you so much and welcome to this year's close. Uh, thank you very much. We have Busoga versus Teso, Bukhead versus Kampala, Lamo versus Ankole, Bukisu versus Sebe, Bunyoro versus Acholi, West Nile versus Karamoja, Chigezi versus Buganda, and Toro versus Renzori. That is the first leg. Home away knockout at the, what we call the group stages. Instead of the round robin that we really do, so it will be the top eight versus the bottom eight. Then we will go into uh, the quarterfinals. Again, home and away. Then the top, the, the top four teams that would have qualified from quarterfinals will be taken to one central venue and we play uh, round robin, and then we play the finals, and uh, the top two teams will play the finals, and the bottom three will play third place playoff. The reason why we did this is, uh, as you notice, the year is almost ending, and uh, we didn't want to miss another third year for drum. But next year, we will revert back to the original format. So that is the, the new thing. But the beauty with it, like President said, it is going to give us all the games on TV. Like, it is also going to give us a more compact uh, quality season because we'll play from, uh, from uh, 30th of uh, July all the way to December when we'll have the finals. But remember in between, there is football action there is a, a AFCON qualifiers in September. There is child qualifiers in September to October. There is the league. There is the World Cup uh, 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 qualifier. So it is going to be action-packed football from 30th November all the way to December. And uh, like I've said, all the games of the drum and most of the games of, uh, of the league and the other competition will be live on TV. So that is a new experience for fans, and uh, we are working on something with the sponsor to ensure that uh, the fans that have traveled 
we will have more or less the same experience with the fund that have remained home for some of the fixtures that are too competitive and uh, that have a lot of following. Thank you.